Right, so if I'd stayed on that side of the fence, folks, I literally would have had to walk past those cows. Now, who's to say they would have stayed sat down like that? They had their eye on me very early. There's part of a mound there, look. And there are some more barrows there, the main ones. I would have had to walk up a path here all the way along to the gate. I'm just going to get the Kodak out again. See if it's going to play. I'm very disappointed in it really that it's doing this. Let's have a drink of water first. That could be the same herd that I had to escape from before. I don't know why it won't play ball. If I were you, I'd just take the battery out for five minutes. Take that out. Just leave it for a minute. Put it ring in that. Just leave it for a minute. That battery does feel hot. Stick it in with the water. It might cool down. It won't work without the battery. So what we do, we we'll just leave it to cool a minute. Let it all cool down. I'm going to try again in a minute. I haven't left anything there in there. Right, they're still on. What it is, I left, the, I left that recording then while I was looking at the Kodak to see if it would work again. Fortunately, I have got this little one. Um, and it is recording. Fortunately, but I can't. I can zoom in a bit there. We'll zoom a bit on, um, but you can't see anything. All you see is your own reflection. It's better than nothing, now. It's better than nothing. It's better to have this than nothing. I'm not going to try the Kodak again until I get on one of the mounds. So I'm, that's where I'm going now. I'm going to gently walk over there now. Well, I've had a banana, a cake, a cake crumble, really nice apple and pear. It was lovely. I've had um, one portion of cheese and one pickled onion. Really nice. And I've got more cheese, more pickled onions, and I've got a packet of crisp cheese nuts. Leicestershire cheese flavoured. I've got a bar of chocolate, which is probably have melted by now. I normally eat that very early, so that will be on the list. Um I got sweets, of course, and I got some nuts. Yeah. Breathtaking views, isn't it? Beyond that copse there, that's where the church will be. Just beyond that copse. I can't see any cows in here, so we're safe. 
and we're probably safe to get back in there because those cows are right down the hill. I wouldn't be surprised if they aren't the same herd, but they've grown up. They were a young herd when I met them. So they were getting used to humans. What I've done, I've put the battery next to the water bottle to try and cool it down. And I've left air getting in to cool the camera down for a minute. And here we come up to the first burrow, having to be done on the little reliable Sony, which will zoom with video only. It will zoom with video only. At the moment, all the pictures are coming out white. They, I did get it working, then I fiddled a bit more and I lost that, I lost it. But I did get it working for the photos. Whatever I did worked, but I, I only took about three photos and then I thought, oh, let's try the zoom and it wouldn't go back. It wouldn't go back, but it might in a minute. Let's get up this hill. Let's climb up this first one. And then we can see some more of the, the other barrows in a minute. So I'm climbing up a barrow, folks. This is an ancient Neolithic barrow. Built 3,000 or 5,000 years ago. Built by clever people who admired this view. Not like we see it today with arable land and neat little fields. It would have, probably would have been marshy. I don't know if there would have been wood, I don't know. But what a commanding position. Why they chose this. <coughs> Why they chose this, look. <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? This is all the other barrows. We've got here, we've got here, okay. Kodak's let us down. Kodak has let us down. see personally with the camera. When I zoom I, I can't see them, I just see my own mouth talking. It's a bit, and I can see the scenery behind me. I don't know what this is showing you. Back to normal now. The cows are right over there. In fact, I don't think they can get in the field here, which I will be climbing in later. There's a wood I used to do a lot when I had Alberta. I would park Alberta down there for a picnic, a cup of tea, and I would wander around in the wood, especially around about a bit later now than September, a bit later in September when the, the beautiful fungi comes out. There's a red toadstool that's particularly beautiful but dangerous. And uh, yeah, I've got lost in there before now. Lost, but I found my way and I worked out how I got lost as well. Just for another time. You can get, you can in there. Because everything is, looks the same once you're in there. Every row of trees. Stockwood. I think it's stockwood or something like that. Or Stockton wood. It's more of a, an, an industrial wood, you know, that they chop down. They grow them and chop them down. Right ahead of us we've got the Wells mast. The big television mast there. I can even see right over to the Quantock Hills, Downsborough Hill Fort, a long way over. 
right the way along the hills over there. On to Exmoor. And right over there. I'll try and zoom in. We've got our Wells masts. Not Wells. Not the masts that I pass when I go to Velvet Bottom, over there somewhere. I don't even know if that'll come out. It's all guessing with us. What I'm going to do now, folks, I'm going to climb up another mound, and then I'm going to try the camera again. It might have cooled down a bit. It did it once before. I just got always remembered that I'd done some on the Sony though. But it has done this before. Of course I haven't got it connected up to the battery. It's having a break a minute. I don't know when I'll ever be doing this again so got to get a move on soon. This was the important bit really. I did a lot though with the Kodak coming all across land a minute ago. <coughs> I did a lot with it. So it's uh, overheated. It's beautiful here though, isn't it? Wheezy again. Wheezy again. Over and out for a minute. Hold on, I don't know if I turned if I've done this already. I don't know. This is the trouble with you can't see properly on these cameras. They put a really tiny, tiny little red light on. So I don't know whether I videoed or not. So I've got to do it again. This is a repeat. There's eight barrows over there. I've, in the past, I have walked on those as well, everyone. Stocks and wood. Where I used to park with Alberta. In front of us, we've got five more burrows and we've got the Wells Mast. We've got to make our way to Wells. We've got to get a move on soon. It was important to do this, though. Right, normally I'd get over a wall there, but there's some blokes there. Yeah, I could get over there as well. No, I'm going to get over the gate here. I just want to do that bit. Just walk around this bit. And then we've got to get a move on. Had to wait for this Kodak to wake up. It's a lovely picture of that as well, isn't it? I ought to do a picture of that. And that. Yeah, I can turn off from it. Right then, I'm amongst the barrows, everyone. The pretty barrows, the ancient Neolithic barrows, where the ancients they buried. Apparently a much more sophisticated society than we realise, or did realise, but now realise. Right in the far distance I can see Robert Warren trees, right in the distance. I've walked quite a long way actually, I've walked quite a long way. Um, I'm now going to get over this gate and then I'm going to walk along the path down to the minories, then across about five fields, into Ebba Gorge, back through Wookie, and hopefully make it for the last bus. So it will be the last bus at this rate. And there's a lovely view there as well of the burrows. I'll just zoom in again. 
going across that track there. We take you right to the eight barrows along there. Like I said, I don't know when I'll be back to do this. I never did it every time normally because I knew I could. But now the bus is ending. It's a complete different ball game. I've now just got to get over this gate. I'm going to put the camera up here for a minute. I was going to go up, get off further up, but I'm glad I came back for this view. Let's put that on there, hope it don't fall into that brick. And it should be right. I'll get off. So I just don't need to come out. I don't know if no, I won't be on the camera, <clears throat> but you should be able to hear me. Hi everyone, this is Sheila at the Burrows. bring a stick very often now because I've got to carry the cameras. We'll just check the time. wells now and uh, back through the mineries and then into the fields. And I'm going to keep keep this out for a little while. And what is the time? Ten past two. Uh, how much battery have we got? Loads. So I'll put that in there with the other stuff. That can stay in there. There we go. That's it. It's one more last walk. Somebody coming, so. Lovely look. Remember it, Sheila. I will be back. I want to get back in that wood. Over and out for a minute. 